kind of mentality, but with a higher purpose, because I lived two years as a monk in Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and New York. Prior to joining the Chromex? Well, the Chromex started in 81, and then um, I was also roading for the Bad Brains, and I was just like, I got to do work on myself. So I read Prabhupada's books, and I was like, I, wanna, I need to live this for a little while. So I read Bhagavad Gita and all these books, and uh, I was like, I got to give this a shot. And uh, so I called up uh, Hawaii, and they had this article that there was a sailboat, and I had uh, rigging skills from the Navy. And I said, hey, you know, I'll come out and work on the sailboat they had. And so that's where it started. And, uh, you know, I trained in martial arts out there. I lived on the big island for a little while, way up in the hills on an organic farm, and then lived in Oahu and trained every day. I was up at 2 a.m. every morning, meditating, chanting. So it was an intense, austere life, but uh, that's what I needed at that point. And then when I left the temple, it was funny because I used to go out and give out books on the street on Kalakaua Avenue, and I ran into these two people, and they had just seen the Bad Brains in L.A., and I was like, I started longing, and I knew my calling was to go back to music. So I came back to New York, lived in burnt-out buildings. Uh, Squads? Yeah. yeah. I mean, when shit was real. Yeah. Like, gang members would come in with guns and try to take take the building from you. So, like... People that say they squat now compared to what it was like back then, totally different story. And, uh, and then we reformed the Cro-Mags uh, with me singing. They had another singer at the time, and uh, it didn't work out for him. And they asked me uh, to come back to the band, and I did. And then we did the demo in the first album, Age of Quarrel, and just kept going. 